Good evening everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mr. Ish. Here is a video with just a single problem, a chemistry problem, acid-base question. We have as the question reads, you can see over here, I've written it out, 0.125 gram of monoprotic acid. A monoprotic acid is exactly like this. It has one ionizable hydrogen. If you were to dissolve this in water, it would dissociate into that. A single hydrogen would be generated. Well, we have 0.125 grams of monoprotic acid, which is dissolved in water, and it is titrated with this 0.1003 molar sodium hydroxide. We have to find the molar weight or the molecular weight of this acid. I'm calling it of, of HA, which is acid. If equivalence point is reached at the addition of 20.77 milliliters of base, what do we have about sodium hydroxide? We know in terms of sodium hydroxide, it's 0.1003 molar and it's this 20.77 milliliters of base. But remember, everything has to be written here in liters. You divide this by a thousand, you'd have 0.02077 liters. Remember at equivalence point, moles OH, your base is equal to moles H plus your acid at equivalence point. During the titration, you reach the equivalence point when the indicator changes color in terms of the solution. That's how you know the equivalence point has reached. You have an indicator in the solution as you're adding in your base, you're doing your titrating. At the equivalence point, the color changes. Anyhow, that color change reflects moles of one is equal to moles of the other. So how can we go about determining the molecular weight? Well, you know if you have a mass and you know if you have moles, you can determine molecular weight because moles is always equal to your mass divided by molecular weight. I have to determine the molecular weights of the acid. So the molecular weight would be the mass of the acid, which I have divided by the moles. How can I determine the moles of the acid from right here? If I know the moles of the base, I know the moles of the acid because the equivalence point is reached. So let's do that. At the equivalence point, you'll see this M1V1 is equal to M2V2. This is here for your acid. This here is your base. I'm just writing that as OH. I know my items here for the base. It's 0 0.1003. Your molarity times your volume 0 0.02077 is equal to, I don't know any of these items here, but what I do know that this right here is equal to moles. Why is this equal to moles? Because molarity is equal to moles over volume. If I push the volume here, I know mv is equal to moles so this right here is the equation my m2v2 for your base is actually equal to your moles of acid and that exactly is this it'll be 0 0.1003 times 0 0.02077 which is liters i have over here 2.083231 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of acid ha all i have to do is take this value and divide it from the mass and i'll get my molar weight so the molecular weight of the acid is equal to your mass, which is 0.125 grams, which is this item here, divided by this, 2.083231 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of acid. And you know the units of molar weight or molecular weight is always grams per mole. I'll do 0.125 divided by that saved value, the moles, and I'll get here 60. My acid will have a molecular weight of 60 and the answer should be right and we can be 60 grams per mole, and the question has been completed. We don't have to worry about the exact identity of this acid, but our question was only to determine the molecular weight. Question has been completed, thank you for watching.